All right, it's time for uh, take some questions from the audience. Yeah, you had a question. Yeah, uh, I think we'd be a shame to end the night without uh, talking about Uno. Um, yeah. 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 And Danny, you look ready. Um, <laughs> <laughs> both sides of Uno. Yeah. Anything specific? We just want to. I was hoping you, you guys, the pros, you asked the tough questions. <laughs> well, Danny. So UNO basically, UNO was a charter school network and it, that... Well, be, before it was a charter school network. That is correct. Before it was, it was a community organization and it, be, it evolved into a charter school network and... Uh, it it th was this Alinsky organization that Danny was talking about yes, where they cornered that, that, that corner Senator Chuck Percy in the bathroom and wouldn't let him out. Yes, and the, oh, there's so much history to give here, Mike. I mean, anyway, UNO um, became... Um, a very powerful political uh, establishment. Uh, it was the recipient of tens of millions of dollars in state money and in uh, public money through the charter school empire. Juan Rangel built it up, who was a former ally. You, you basically taught him the ropes um, before Juan was there, Danny was there. And, um, and then thanks to the great Dan Mahopoulos of the Chicago Sun-Times, we learned uh, that the, um, Oh, what was he, like the COO of UNO's brother uh, had a company that was receiving uh, construction contracts on some of their uh, big projects. Um, within a matter of months, UNO's stock had fallen. There were investigations uh, on the s local level and on the federal level. And um, lo and behold, UNO, um, uh, which had been fiercely anti-union, um, suddenly uh, reached an agreement with the, its teachers, and they're now unionized. So in the, the bizarre world of Chicago education and politics, UNO is now a progressive organization <laughs> as we head into this uh, campaign cycle. So I guess, Danny, the question for question. you is this. Was it, um, well, first of all, how aware w were you of what was going on at UNO? Uh, I mean, during this last year, before, right before Danny Mahopoulos blew the whistle on it. Were you aware of the No, I wasn't aware of that. What I was frustrated, what I was angry with, is UNO um, going away from the activist uh, role that they had before. They weren't in the whole immigration uh, picture at all. Uh, they weren't uh, uh, training and working with parents. Now, when that issue of what happened with the COO and giving contracts to his brothers came up, um, that's when Juan came to me and, and wanted some help. And I didn't help them because of Juan, I helped them because of Uno. And specifically, there are uh, about 7,000 kids in these Uno uh, schools. And they are in the, most of them are in the southwest side and if you had to rely on the Board of Education to deal with the overcrowding through the public schools, it was never going to happen. One of the high schools that got built about the same time UNO was building its schools cost $125 million to build. And so I don't need charter schools in Pilsen, and I have a commitment, I don't want them anymore. I don't want them around. But UNO charter schools on the south way, southwest side fulfilled the need. What they did with the CEO and his brothers was so wrong, and I went in the, on record saying that it was wrong. And now they've, they've got to straighten out, and hopefully, hopefully because of those kids, they will. So you're saying, this is almost like the TIFAR debate we're having. Um, well, first of all, I've been out of UNO for 18 yeah. plus years. I constantly yeah. get blamed. Every time Juan <laughs> said anything about UNO and yeah, teachers union, et cetera, you. they'd come to me. Yeah. Um, so. What does your wife think about Uno? <laughs> she, you know, she loved the kids. Yeah. She worked from 7, 7.30 in the morning to 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Not only five days a week, but s Saturdays too. I always, I always pushed that we had to have a union there, and I'm glad that they have a union there now. 